guys and welcome back for another quick Tuesday video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make these really awesome, cheap and easy sensory projects just in time for back to school. There's so much fun to play with. I made a pencil case, a placemat and also a fun notebook. So for this project, I will be using some sort of liquid. I got this hair gel over at the Dollar Tree, so it's super cheap and you get a lot of it. And then I got the sequins and large glitter over at the Dollar Tree also. So you can use gems or beads or anything you think would look pretty. And then I'm going to be using this 16 gauge vinyl. I got this over at the fabric store. It's a thicker vinyl, so it's less likely to be punctured, especially if you turn this into a pencil case. But any vinyl that's over, I'd say 10 or 12 would work best for this project. So the first thing I'm going to do is take my vinyl and I just chose whatever size you want to make. So of course you can make it a small little piece that you want to stick on top of a notebook or you can make it as large as a placemat. And we're just going to put the two pieces together to line up all the edges. And then I'm going to take a piece of parchment paper and I folded that in half and I wrapped it around the edge of it. And then I'm going to take my flat iron and you can use a iron if you want, but it is a little bit more tricky just because the iron is rounded. So I'm using the flat iron because it is nice and straight on the edge and I'm more likely to get a better. And I also have a variable flat iron, so I'm able to turn this up to 450 degrees, which would just make the process go faster. So I'm just going to do basically a half inch seam allowance all the way around, but I am leaving a two or three inch gap on one side. And that is of course, so you can fill it with your gel and your glitter. So of course this project is going to get very hot and you might end up burning your fingertips. So be very careful. It is melting plastic. So of course, um, just leave it for a couple seconds before you go to take off the parchment paper. It might also stretch the plastic when you do take off the parchment paper. So letting it cool a little bit will make of course for a better seam. So now that I've done it all and I have my little opening, I'm going to choose what I want to put on the inside. So I'm just going to do some chunky glitter and some sequins on the inside. I'm going to make it super simple. And if you wanted to use food coloring to change the color of your gel, you could do that. If you wanted to do just water, you could also do that. It would be a lot more squishy. Of course, you, the things would move around a lot more easy. Of course, the gel isn't necessarily non-toxic. So if you're looking for something that is non-toxic, you can use the Elmer's clear school glue that works perfect as well. So for this particular pouch, I did turn it into a zipper pouch and I do have a tutorial all about how to make vinyl pouches. I'll link that in the information icon. And also if you're not already subscribed to the channel, I would love it if you did that and hit that notification bell to be alerted of new and future tutorials and also smash that like button as the kids like to say. Okay. So now that I have all my glitter in, I'm going to put in a bunch of the gel and I don't really have a correct measurement. Of course, you don't want it to be too much. You don't want it to be too thick, but you want it to be enough to completely coat the inside, completely coat your glitter, and just so that it's nice and flat and you're still able to move things around with your fingers. And then after that, you're just gonna take your little parchment piece and we're going to finish off that little seam. So like I said, I did make this into a zipper pouch, so you can apply this to the tutorial that I link in the information icon. So this is how it looks. And as you can see, there's just the right amount of gel in there so that I can move everything around with my fingers. And I do have a little bit of air bubbles in there, but that's okay because that just adds to the fun. And then I'm going to show you what I did with some other sizes. So I got these really cute notebooks over at the Dollar Tree as well. And I decided to stick those on the front and these notebooks have fun little sayings on them. So because the clear, the pouch is clear and the gel is clear, you can move the gel and the glitter around so that you can see what's on the front cover of your little notebook. So I'm just going to use some hot glue. Um, that actually worked fine. I was actually kind of nervous about hot glue and everything, but um, it doesn't get too hot that it ended up melting the vinyl. Um, but you could of course use E6000 or something like that. And I'm just going to glue all the way around the edges and just so that you of course can't see the glue on the center. And I did decide to get some little sequin trim and I just placed that all around the outer edge of the pouch just to kind of hide the, you know, the seam to make it look a little bit more prettier and polished off. And for the boys version, I actually used some Q 
cute little ribbon and I will have more photos and links for any products and things I use over at the blog post which will be linked in the information icon also. So I really love how this one turned out and I decided to go big and make a placemat for my kids. This is so great if you have a child with sensory needs to keep them sitting at the table, you know, so maybe they'll eat their food and of course they can play with their little fingers on the placemat. And then I just made it into a zipper pouch and I'm not gonna show you the whole thing, but I'm basically using a lace zipper and I just sewed down the front of the zipper to attach the vinyl and then I turned it inside out, sew all the way around it and then I just snipped off the excess zipper and then turned it right sides out and I have really cute, simple, easy, sensory zipper pouch. I love it. So I hope you enjoy this tutorial and if you do give any of these projects a try, I would love to see it. And again, if you're not already subscribed to the channel, I would love it if you do hit that notification bell and smash that like button as the kids like to say. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next tutorial. Bye guys.